Hello, this is Joseph Botello from the Botello Law Group. In our video series, what to do after you've been in a personal injury, automobile accident, or slip and fall. This video is on the collection of your own facts. In the previous videos, we've gone over what to do at the scene of the accident, collecting your own um, evidence at the accident with your smartphone, taking an ambulance and going to the hospital, following up with your PCP and specialized doctors, going to chiropractors and rehabilitation, and now this part will basically be you putting that all together for your personal injury attorney. This is something only you can do and has to be done on a daily basis. Um, any experienced personal injury attorney is going to be able to explain to you how to do this and most, like the Botello Law Group, will provide you with documents that you can fill out yourself. They're basically just blank documents that categorize different things of how you feel, um, the medications you're taking, the medical appointments, and treatment that you're going through and also the perceptions of the pain, the medication side effects, how you feel throughout the whole process and how disabling the injuries have been to you. So essentially what you want to do on a daily basis would be to fill out just a journal. If your personal injury attorney has not provided you with the materials to do this, do this on your own. All you need is a small notebook and just going to break it down by days, by weeks. Explain per day if you've seen any doctors, what medications you're on, what the medication made you feel like. If you're taking painkillers and muscle relaxers, these make it so most of us can't even function. Um, depending on how hurt you are and the severity of the pain you're in will dictate how strong these medications are, but that doesn't dictate how your body is going to respond to them. Many people do not respond, do not respond well to painkillers and muscle relaxers, meaning that it makes it so they cannot function or makes it so they cannot drive a car. Also, what's important is you categorizing on a daily and weekly basis the pain you're in. On a scale of one to 10, try to explain the pain. If pain was worse one more one day than another, try to exp explain that. Explain if certain types of situations, such as bending over, kneeling down, reaching for something, reaching up, reaching down, whatever it may be. Explain in your journal how this affects you, how it feels, and also what limitations are you experiencing because of this pain, because of the treatment, because of the medication. This might sound very rudimentary and something that, oh, I can just explain that to my lawyer at another time. No, you're never going to be able to explain to your lawyer everything at another time, and you're never going to be able to have something that your lawyer can present to an insurance adjuster or to present in trial and actually question you about it. This is something that if you don't do yourself at the time it's happening in real time on a daily and weekly basis until your treatment is over or your case is settled or you've reached um, uh, trial judgment, this is something you need to do. No one else can do this for you. I cannot explain how critical this is or how many people simply do not take the time to do this? Everyone's case is extremely important to them until they're required to do something. This is something that is on you, only you. Your doctors can't do this for you. The chiropractor can't do this for you. And certainly your personal injury attorney cannot do this for you. I cannot stress anymore how critical it is for you to catalog on a daily and weekly basis your injuries, your treatment, your medications, the side effects, and your perceptions of what your daily life is like dealing with these injuries, the impact, and all of the debilitating side effects of being in as much pain as you're in. So, to recap, this is something only you can do 
get yourself a journal or ask your personal injury attorney to provide you with the materials to fill out, make photocopies. We don't know how long it's gonna take, so keep some of what is provided to you blank. Keep photocopying them for the days, weeks, so possibly even months that you're going to be going through treatment. And methodically list per day your pain level, your treatment, your medication, your side effects, and the perceptions you have of your injuries and how disabling they are and the limitations that you're experiencing by having to live through this painful ordeal. This is Joseph Botello of the Botello Law Group in our video series, What to Do After a Personal Injury Automobile Accident or Slip and Fall. Please watch the entire video series and also visit our blog. The link's in the description and save this on your phone somewhere because on our blog we will have all of the videos in this series on one page for you to easily use. Thank you and have a good day. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, click the notification bell to get future videos that we'll be putting out. And please share our content on social media.